Let's solve this problem. Evaluate the following limit. So let's start with 1. Limit of x plus 1 over x squared minus 1 as x approaches negative 1. So we can always try to evaluate the given expression here at the value of x that it is approaching 2. So we can try to evaluate x plus 1 over x squared minus 1 at x is negative 1. So substitute negative 1 to every x here. We will have negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 squared minus 1. If we try to simplify, we have negative 1 plus 1, 0 over negative 1 squared, that's 1, minus 1, 0. So 0 over 0 is an indeterminate form. So we cannot accept this value of limit. So let's try first to simplify the expression if we can still simplify. So notice that we can factor out the denominator x squared minus 1 using difference of 2 squares. So factoring x squared minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 x minus 1 as x approaches negative 1. So we can cancel out this x plus 1. So we are left with the limit of 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches negative 1. Now try to reevaluate the simplified expression at x is negative 1 and check if the value will exist. So doing that, we will have 1 over negative 1 minus 1. So that will be 1 over negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. Or it's also equal to negative 1 half. So since the value now exists, therefore, this will also be the value of the limit. For number 2, we have the limit of x squared plus x minus 6 over x squared minus 4 as x approaches 2. So let's try to evaluate this expression at x is equal to 2. So we will have 2 squared plus 2 minus 6 over 2 squared minus 4. So we will have 2 squared, that's 4, plus 2, 6, minus 6, 0, over 2 squared, 4, minus 4, 0. So again, we have an indeterminate form 0 over 0. So we cannot accept this value of limit. So let's try to simplify first the expression. So let's factor out the numerator. So this is a trinomial square. So this can have a factor of two binomial. Factors of x squared can be x times x. Then think of factors of negative 6 that when you add is equal to the coefficient of x, which is 1. This can be positive 3 and negative 2 over... So if you apply factoring difference of 2 squares, so it's equal to x plus 2 times x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So we can cancel out this x minus 2. So we are left with limit of x plus 3 over x plus 2 as x approaches 2. Now let's check if we substitute the 2 here in the expression, the value will exist. So we will have 2 plus 3 over 2 plus 2 so we will have 2 plus 3 that's 5 over 2 plus 2 4 so therefore the value of the limit exists and it's equal also to 5 over 4 for number 3 we have the limit of x cubed minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 so if we try to evaluate this expression at x is 1 we will have 1 cubed minus 1 over 1 minus 1, which is obviously 1 cubed 1 minus 1, 0 over 1 minus 0, another indeterminate form. So we cannot accept this limit. So we can try to simplify first this expression. So we can factor out x cubed minus 1 using difference of two cubes. So the factored form of that will be x minus 1, times x squared plus x plus 1, right? Over x minus 1, then as x approaches 1. So we can cancel out this x minus 1. We will be left with limit of x squared plus x plus 1 as x approaches 1. Now, if we try to reevaluate this x squared plus x plus 1 at x is 1, we will have 
1 squared plus 1 plus 1. So, simplifying 1 squared 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3. So, therefore, the value of the limit will also be equal to 3. Okay, now it's your turn. So, try to evaluate this limit and just comment their answers.